There was a boa constrictor under there. Dude, I can't, I can't get a video of it. Oh my god, it's dark under there. How's it going today, everybody? It's Kinetic here, and welcome to another story. So yesterday, me and my friends were hanging out, and uh, we actually just left McDonald's. There's a McDonald's by my house, and we stopped there to get like drinks and stuff. And we just left there, and we were heading to my friend's house. And I don't remember who pointed it out exactly, but someone saw something underneath a car, and we looked, and it was actually like this huge snake, like. I think he said it was like a boa constrictor. I don't. I don't want to get that wrong, but there. That's a. That's a fucking boa constrictor. Stop, Max. Yes, you have a phobia. Max, stop. Uh, Max. Okay. I'm just gonna call it that. So there was just this boa constrictor underneath the car in the middle of New York. So it's like not native here. So it was really weird. We never really saw that here. And right behind where the car was, there was this like vegetable stand, and like they were far enough away where they like. Where, like where the snake wasn't gonna move or anything, but one of the ladies came out and she actually called the cops and so one cop showed up Now the cops are here And you know we were still there we were there the whole time and so we told them what happened So then he calls up one of his friends from like a local pet store by here So while we're waiting for him to come a few more cops show up and one of them asked me if I got videos of the snakes, and I said yes. So he actually asked me if I can send him some of the videos. So he gave me his cell phone number, and I sent him some of the videos that I took. So then this guy finally shows up, and he, like, tries to reach underneath the car and grab the snake. I guess he's, like, really good with them. But by this time, it actually latched onto the undercarriage of the car and wrapped itself around the heat shield, I think. Why? It's climbing up into the car. <laughs> the car, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What is it doing? It's so big. Hey. So he couldn't just pull it out. He had to use like tools and get under there with like a pick. But he had to go under there with tools and try to pull this thing out. And so then another guy came. And I don't think he worked there. I thought he was just like a random guy off the street that volunteered to try and grab this snake. And he was under there reaching for the snake for probably about five minutes. But eventually he got it, got a hold of it, and pulled it out. I might go to McDonald's and get a water cup. Oh. You know, I'm joining them back. I have a water cup. But don't we have to stay here? As witness, as eyewitnesses? I got him. Watch out. I got him. Yeah. I got him. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh! Woo! Oh! 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 That's a shame. Bingo. 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 Got a box up. Situation averted. How unsafe would it be to touch that thing? Yeah, he'd be fine. <laughs> Kidding me? I grew and so they just put the snake in the box and uh, drove it off to the pet store. So that was an interesting experience, I'd say. Um, something you don't see every day. You know, a snake underneath a car. Yeah, anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like. I'd appreciate it so much. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later. Peace.